Welcome back to the Young Sparky Boys. Uh, another tool review, another DeWalt. This time, DeWalt 20 volt sawzall, reciprocating saw, whatever you guys want to call it. I still call it a sawzall. There's my last name. Cover that one up. It is a DeWalt DCS 380. DCS 380. Um, 20 volt tool. Probably already mentioned that. So we'll get into some of the features. Something I do like is this quick release for the, the guard. In and out. Pretty sure you could. That's about it. Can't really flip it around or it won't work. Uh, also, you can adjust the depth of it. It has uh, these serrated teeth on the bottom. So there's three spots that you could lock it into, which is good. I just keep it all the way in. Just easy that way for me. Uh, one of the other things I like, let me get a battery and show you. The other things I really like about this saw is that it has four positions where you can lock the blade into. So let's pop this thing on. If you look inside there, there is this slot here and this slot up across. The blades fit in both directions. So you can have it. Let me get a sawzall blade and help. Help me explain this to you guys. All right. So, so use sawzall blade clearly. You can put it. This way. Flip it around in the same slot. So you can cut the opposite way. Or. That way. Or you can flip it around in the same slot. And cut the opposite direction. I find that to be a really, really handy feature. One thing I don't like is to open it up you have this plastic lever which uh, if you look at the top one it's, it's e more easily seen in the top when you close it that pin comes up and that's what hold locks the sawzall blade in place uh, I don't like this plastic lever because it's plastic um, I'm pretty rough on my tools uh, the sawzall gets used pretty regularly to cut uh, EMT, conduit um, I even use it to like cut channels in concrete, all kinds of stuff. Um, so it does get some pretty, pretty good abuse, uh, and I'm definitely not a fan of any plastic moving parts. So, because of this, I'm pretty sure is the only downside, down like thing that I don't like about this saw. Besides that, it's pretty good. Um, I find that saws do tend to like drain a little more battery than, than like impact drivers and drills. So uh, when you're using this, I use it. I only use a four amp hour on this or a five. Uh, nothing smaller than that because it doesn't last long. Like a couple cuts and you'll drain through a, a one and a half amp hour battery pretty quickly. So overall, this is a good tool. It does retail for around 180 bucks at Home Depot. Uh, if you watched my other reviews, I explained to you how to get tools for less. I paid I think like 90 bucks for this. Pretty much all my DeWalt 20 volt tools I paid roughly just under a hundred bucks for. So overall, very good tool. Um, the four way locking for the bit uh, is very handy. You can cut different angles and like not have to turn the saw, so it's easier to get into like tight spaces and cut things. Um, not bad. Overall, good tool for a hundred bucks. Definitely can't complain. For two hundred, not so bad. Uh, honestly, this, I also have a DeWalt corded. I also have a DeWalt corded Sawzall. Uh, doesn't come with the four-way chuck to, like, lock the bits. I know it's not called a chuck, whatever the fuck it's called. Um, this, honestly, does like, doesn't lack in power compared to this, like, this is a little bigger. Clearly, it does have a little more power. It is the corded version, but um, 
like for a cordless version this does have quite a bit of bite so like very impressed with with the power that this tool has overall that's the sparky channel keep your dick on the ice like AVE